Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first things first, I just want to acknowledge the fact that I know that I've got two new friends on my chin. So Sandra, so Sally, let's just say hi, acknowledge their presence, and then forget about it. <laughs> The main reason I'm filming this video is not to introduce you to my spots, but it's to chat to you about yin yoga. So I have decided, after a few people requesting it and just being so passionate about it, I've decided to film for you um, a four week series of yin practices, um, which will start this Sunday. Um, so yin yoga, for those of you that don't know, is um, very, very different to other forms like vinyasa flow, power yoga, all of those types of things you might be used to, they are classed as a yang practice. Yin is all about finding stillness. Yin is, um, we hold the postures from anything from 45 seconds upwards. Um, usually you'll find postures being held from about three to five minutes, um, maybe more than that if um, you're in a more advanced class or depending on the posture, it all varies. Um, you'll also find in yin um, a lot of props, so we use blocks, we use cushions, we use bolsters, we use straps, um, and it's all about finding the target area for each posture and working deeply into that joint um, and those muscles, but more importantly, working into the fascia, which is the connective tissue that holds us all together. Um, and so therefore yin really works on our mobility and our flexibility our range of motion. Um, and yin isn't, isn't really meant as just a practice, like that's the only form of yoga that you do. In an ideal world, you'd be practicing yin once a week and then you'd also have your other practices, be it ashtanga, be it um, vinyasa or, or whatever it might be. Um, yin is a really nice a way of complementing those practices um, because you you, if, especially if you're used to doing um, yoga as a workout and finding it, um, getting your exercise from yoga, um, yin will be very hard because you, it's very much you're looking inwards, you're dealing with maybe a bit of emotion um, and you're having to be still. <laughs> Quite hard if you're used to doing like power yoga. But this practice will help you so much with your other types of exercise and yoga. One of the other most important things about yin is that we're not all striving to look the same in a posture. Um, ultimately, yoga should have no ego, it should have no judgment, but we all know that when we go to yoga classes sometimes we get frustrations if we can't do a posture or if we think someone else's posture looks better than ours. Um, throw that out the door, like get rid of that. Yoga is for you. It's meant to empower you, make you feel good. Can you see <laughs> how passionate I am about this? I'm like pushing my fists together. Um, but especially in yin, where the aim is to find the right stretch and um, deepening in the target area rather than finding the pretty looking posture. So because all of our bones vary, all of our muscles vary, our heights, everything, we are, every single one of us is so different, so our postures will look different. Um, and in yin, you may also discover that your bones may not allow for certain postures, and it's like, it's like a form of therapy, because it's like you have to deal with this acceptance, that unfortunately, when you are compressing bone on bone, you may never be able to do certain things, you may not be able to do the splits, because unfortunately, unless you're willing to grind down that bone, you're just not going to get there. So there is a form of acceptance with yin and it's an important thing, you know, it can definitely help you in other forms of life as well. So that is a very, very top line explanation as to what yin yoga is. Um, and I wanted to have this explanation before I launch into my um, four weeks of uh, videos. So there's going to be four videos. Um, one will be looking around sort of the legs, another one will be heart and chest, um, we'll have another one which is maybe a hip opening, and then another one which I haven't quite decided yet, so that might be a surprise. Um, but I would love you to join me um, on this little journey and let me know how you go. If you have any questions, please do comment below. Um, at the beginning of each of my videos, I will obviously give a quick explanation into how they're going to work, but just for those of you now who are watching, um, because we hold the postures for so long, for me to film myself doing them for that long, 
you'd have like a video that's like an hour or whatever it might be. So I'm just going to tell you in each video how long the suggested um, amount of time is and then you can just pause me set your timer, do the pose and then play me again or you can write it all down and do it in your own time. But yeah, I'm really, really excited and um, pleased to be doing this, to be sharing this. I'm even more excited that people actually requested this. It just goes to show like that word is getting out there about how you know important our bodies are and how much we need to nourish them and look after them. So. That is it from me. I'm gonna stop talking and yeah, I cannot wait to have you in my little yin session next uh, next week or this Sunday coming. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you then. Mwah. Namaste. <laughs> a kiss and a namaste, why not? <laughs>